This Army today announcing a nationwide reduction in troops. 40,000 soldiers by 2017, many of those coming from installations in our state. Tim Geider joins us now with the numbers. Tim Fort Stewart among the installations that will be losing soldiers. It is, Mike, a net loss of 950 soldiers at Fort Stewart. That out of a total of 4,350 soldiers, Georgia will lose in this drawdown, the state accounting for roughly 11% of the reduction announced today. The Army says with budget cuts, they plan to shrink to a total of 450,000 troops within the next two years, most of the cuts coming at brigades at Fort Benning and Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson in Alaska. But saying Fort Stewart is uniquely strategic and has unmatched capabilities, Representative Buddy Carter of Georgia's 1st District was critical of the cuts. With global instability on the rise and increasingly unpredictable threats, the Army's announced drawdown today is short-sighted. Cutting troops at this time flies in the face of reality. The federal government's number one responsibility is to defend its citizens. I'm increasingly concerned that we will render ourselves unable to respond to the threats we face around the globe. Reduction could also have impact locally outside the gates of Fort Stewart. The Savannah Chamber of Commerce estimates the military has a $5 billion economic impact annually on the city of Savannah, and CEO Bill Hubbard says they have long been at work to protect that. Going way back before the base realignment and closures of the last few years, there's been a partnership between ourselves, Savannah Economic Development Authority, Chatham County, and the city of Savannah. Uh, and we have hired representation in D.C., and we've had a significant kind of full-time effort making sure that all those decision makers in Washington understand the strategic value of what we have to deliver here, and then also done whatever we can to protect our bases here, protect kind of some of the intrusion of things that often happen happens around bases uh, and make sure frankly that we're as a helpful community as we can be to the military. Now, the bulk of the reduction at Georgia bases came at Fort Benning outside of Columbus which lost 3,400 soldiers. Additional cuts to the number, the number of civilian personnel at military are expected but have not yet been announced.